Number 89, a 1.00 liter vessel at 400 degrees Celsius contains the following equilibrium concentrations. So for N2, we have 1.00 molarity. For H2, we have 0.50 molarity. And for NH3, we have 0.25 molarity. How many moles of hydrogen must be removed from the vessel to increase the concentration of nitrogen to 1.1 molarity? And then the equilibrium reaction is this. So let's just write that out a little bit bigger. So we have N2, that's a gas, plus 3H2, that's also a gas, and this is coming to equilibrium with two NH3 gases. Okie dokie. So I already see that we have coefficients here, so this is going to be a balanced equation. But now, since we're dealing with equilibrium, and they gave us equilibrium concentrations and they're asking us a question, what's the K value? They didn't give us a K value. So the first thing is we have to find out what that K value is. Now, since they're talking to us in terms of molarity, we can easily find out the KC. And remember, the KC values come from, and maybe I'll put this in, in black, they come from the equilibrium values, right? But they're already setting us all up. They're saying that it has already the following equilibrium values. So N2 was 1.00 molarity. The H2 was 0 0.50 molarity. And the NH3 was 0 0.25 molarity. Okay. So how do we find the KC expression? Well, it's the general formula of this, right? KC equals concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants, right? They're all raised to the coefficients. And remember, only aqueous and gases are allowed in this equation. But that's okay because all of these are gases. So all of these are going to be taken into consideration. So let's just write out the KC formula for this equation. Products over reactants, we got one product. So the concentration of NH3 and that's going to be raised to its coefficient. There's a two here, so I gotta raise it to the second. Divided by, we have two uh, reactants, so the concentration of N2. I don't see a number in front of N2, right? That means that there's just one of them, and I would raise it to the first. Anything raised to the first is itself, though, so who cares? <laughs> and then if you have multiple reactants, you times them, not add them, like the balance equation. So we have H2. And this is now going to be raised to the coefficient. I do see a 3 in front of there, so I raise it to the third. So let's figure it out. Kc equals the NH3. So I have 0 0.25, and that's going to be squared, divided by the N2, which is 1.00, and then times that by 0 0.5, 0 and that's gonna be raised to the third. So in essence, what we're doing is we're gonna be squaring this, cubing this, and then dividing by you know one another. If you want, get the one answer for the top, one answer for the bottom, and then divide them. I'm just gonna do it in one step. Let's see if your answer matches mine. So I'm gonna, in the calculator, I'm just gonna say 0.25 squared, got it. I'm gonna do 0.5 cubed, and then I take the 0 0.0625 and divide that by 0.125. Uh, and we get, and I just want to make sure I have the numbers right, looks pretty good to me. So I get 0 0.5. And I'll say 0 0.50. So now we know what the KC value is. The KC is 0 0.50. Now, what I'm only going to leave is the KC specific formula. So I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. I'm just going to move this over here and I'll get rid of this uh, calculation. Pause the video if you want to write it down, but all we needed was the answer. Now they're asking for how many moles of hydrogen must be removed from the vessel to increase the concentration of nitrogen to 1.1. Now nitrogen over here is now going to be increased by 1.1. So it went from a 1.0 molarity, now we're at a 1.1 molarity. Now it seems like there was a change here 
right? How did we go from 1.00 molarity to 1.1 molarity? It looks like now when we're establishing a new equilibrium value, this will now turn into our initial value. So now I'm going to say that this was the equilibrium value. And this was basically like the initial one. Now let's see how much has changed from this, right? C stands for change. And how did we go from one molarity to 1.1? Well, it seems like we added 0 0.1 molarity. So now if that's the case, we can essentially come over to the product side and subtract by uh, 0.1, right? And that would be the new equilibrium molarity for that. Now, 0 0.25 minus 0.1 molarity. Now, just be careful, right? We have to go by the coefficients. Since this was nothing in front, there was a 1 here. This was times by 1. But now, since I have this times by 2, I have to times this by 2. So it's technically um, 0.1 times 2, and then that's going to be 0.25 minus 0.2. And now my new equilibrium molarity for NH3 would be 0 0.05 molarity. Now what we can do is we can actually uh, do the same thing for the H2, right? But maybe we want to be a little bit more specific, especially since we know the KC formula or the KC value, right? So maybe let's just solve for H2 what is going to be the new H2 value? Let's plug it into our formula and solve for H2. So 0 0.50 equals the concentration of the new NH3, which is going to be 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and that's going to be squared, divided by the N2, which is 1.1, and then times this by x, and we have to cube that, right? So this looks like this is going to be uh, cross-multiplication. I'm going to take this times this, right? And then we'll just do the top number, and that's times by 1, right? Because remember, this was technically over 1. So let's see what we get. So we have 0.5 times 1.1. And I get 0 0.55, and that's x cubed, equals 0 0.05 squared. I get 0 0.0025, divide by 0 0.55 on both sides. Divide by that. And I get repeating values. So x cubed equals 0 0.00455 etc, etc. But we want to take the cube root of this. You could either use the cube root uh, number on your calculator, or just know that a cube root, the inverse of the cube root is raising it to the one third, because three times one third is just one. So that's what I like to do. I like to raise this to the one third, and then I will get my x value. And that's what the H2 uh, equilibrium is going to be. So let's see. So this number raised to the one third, uh-oh, what did I do? There we go. And I get a more specific answer. So it's 0.166, we'll say. And that's molarity. And that's now coming to over here. So this now equals 0 0.166 molarity. Now, you might be saying, well, wait a minute. How is this being plus 0.1 and this being a minus value, right? And they're on the same side. Well, remember, according to Le Chatelier's, if you increase something, you have to get it back. So according to Le Chatelier, if we were increasing this amount, we have way too much. So we would predominantly shift to the product side, bringing this back down. So this decrease 
is basically what's happening when we shifted away. So this would be basically minus whatever it is, right? 0 0.5, let's see, 0 0.5 minus 0.166. And I get basically 0 0.334 molarity. And now the question was asking for how many moles of hydrogen must be removed. Removed means negative. So the molarity, so for basically H2, we have 0 0.334 molarity removed, but they just wanted to know it in terms of moles. And remember, molarity, if I just put it over here, molarity equals moles divided by liters. That's the general formula. And if we want to solve for the moles, right? If I just undo this, I could say that moles equals molarity times liters. So here's the molarity. They told us that it was in a one liter vessel. So the moles would be the 0.334 times one liter. So it's essentially the same. The molarity equals the moles in this case. So we have 0 0.334 moles of H2 removed. And that is the final, final, final answer the final answer to this question, the final answer to this chapter. Uh, so this was a wild ride. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, if you could do all these practice problems, or if you've stuck with me through the whole chapter, I, I appreciate you so much, but I hope that you guys have learned a lot. That is the only goal of this channel. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have learned everything about equilibrium and we're moving on to better things. Not better things. Equilibrium is fun, but new things. All right. So I will see you in the next chapter. Have an awesome day. Take care. Bye-bye.